Hi everyone, it's Nigel Guillaume here, the Lead GP Training Program Director for the St Mary's Scheme and Course Director for Mentor MRC GP. Just enjoying this lovely summer's evening. I had the pleasure this evening of talking to Ahmed, an IMG who recently smashed the RCA first time and we'll talk about his game changers. It's a really inspirational um, and motivating interview. I hope you take a listen and if you find it useful, do subscribe to the YouTube channel and our Facebook support group and I'll catch you in a bit. Many thanks. Good evening everyone, it's Nigel Guillaume here, the Lead Training Programme Director for the St Mary's Scheme and uh, we're continuing with our mentor uh, RCA interviews with successful SD3s. I'm so happy to have Ahmed on with me this evening. I've been dying to talk to you and wish you congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> thanks Nigel, thanks. Very nice to see you after this long time. Look how happy this man is. He's smiling, smiling, smiling. So it's just lovely, lovely, lovely to see you. So Ahmed, okay. do um, tell us a little bit about yourself uh, so that anyone who's watching can get a flavor for how you came to be a GP, how uh, you came to approach the RCA. Well, actually, it wasn't in my mind to be a GP, <laughs> but all of a sudden, everything changed, looking for social life. So yeah. I came from surgical background, so I have a very long history of in surgical uh, field, and then I moved to any. So I have at least five to seven years any experience, right, right? And because of the you know the shift pattern, yes. So I decided to go to the GP training. Yes. So I got it, and uh, thankfully I passed all the exam. Yes, and with first time was and amazing, and we're so happy for you. Thank um, you. And I and I suppose a lot of people. Um, look at GP as being a bit more sociable, but the RCA is definitely not a sociable exam. Is it? It's a very challenging exam. So what I were know. the main hurdles, the main challenges that you faced? Well, the main challenge, honestly, because I finished my AKT in October last year, and then I decided to start preparation by January. So I attended your course, mm -hmm. mental RCA course on 7th of January. I remember that day very well. So do I. <laughs> The reason because it was, that was, not, it was a long course, but it was very useful. That was a turning point in my consultation, actually. Mm. And uh, so my decision was to sit the exam of submission in April. Yes. But then you remember the, the emails from RCGB yeah. on the confusion. Yeah. So I made my decision to, to submit uh, by March. Yes. So I discussed with my supervisor in practice and he was happy. He said, I, I believe in you, so you could do it. Yes. So the challenging start we have very short period. So I started recording by first week of February. Right. So that's quite short. Yeah, that's a short time, isn't it? Yeah. But if you remember the course, I'm not sure if you remember the course. Uh, I think I was active participant in that course. Yes, yes you were. Course. And I remember the first case was I was confused. Yes. It was about uh, you were the patient about uh, uncontrolled asthma. So yeah. I didn't continue. I didn't manage to, I was very hesitant in consultation yeah. because you know my 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 hospital experience. So mm -hmm. I was of my mind this goes with history, examination, investigation, yeah. diagnosis, yeah. treatment. But then by the by the time through the course, I was focusing on your history, on other participants. By the third consultation, you gave me pass mark. Yes. And you that did well. Was, because, yeah. I remember that. And that day was the turning point for me. Start, so I tried to ad, I started to adapt my consultation every day, depending on that strategy. And I yeah. noticed the huge and different. Yeah. That's why I make decision to set the exam yeah. by March, because I, I start to feel more confident. That's brilliant. So yes, the RCA is not a diagnostic exam. I mean, you're from a surgical background. I'm from a general medical background. So it's not MRCS, it's not MRCP, it's not diagnostic driven. And, and certainly in the RCA, you know, patients aren't OSCE patients. They don't fit nice little boxes. They come with stuff that's already happened before. Um, and we talked quite a lot about case priming on the course. How important was that in terms of priming a case? Well, I always, I always told my, my colleagues about, imagine we are examiner. We are the examiner. And you have a patient, and we don't know anything about that patient. Yeah. I'm an examiner. I might sit in Manchester. I might sit in London. I might sit in Cardiff. Yeah. And you have a patient there. I don't know anything about them. In yeah. the previous exams, we the examiner give the sheet for the for the for the candidate with yeah. all the information. Nowadays, we give them. We have to give them the information about that patient. Yeah. So we have to be very loud, very clear. Yes. 
So I always tell them, I, I learned that from your from your course. You tell me, tell the tell the examiner who is that patient, what the background, even medication, even the dose exactly. That make you you then you explore your patient, frankly. They know their background, why they are here, what they want. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is a very important point, and I always speak loudly. Yes. Yeah. I remember in my consultation, I look at the notes if before the start of consultation, definitely mm -hmm. I tell the patient, you have this, you have this, you have this. And you are this on this. And mm. sometimes they correct me to tell me, no, that stop. Yeah. It's no matter. But at least you tell the examiner, which is very yeah. important that you know everything about your patient. Yeah. So that's an important point. Yeah. But actually, you know, when you say the patients often correct you, it's really important for the patient as well, isn't it? Because then they, they recognize that you've kind of done you, your You know everything. Then. Yeah. And it, and it actually establishes a lot of trust that the patient feels that you as the doctor, if you've never met them before, already know what they're no, on, what they're that. taking. That's so correct. really, really important. Um, I suppose just closing the, the interview, unfortunately, you know, there are a number of people who have failed the spring RCA. The results are going to be coming out, obviously, for uh, the next sitting. So there's going to be a, a significant number of people who will be in a, in a huge dilemma with regards to whether taking the last RCA sitting in September or trying out this completely new exam, uh, the SCA, which is coming in in November. But if they choose to do the RCA, what kind of pieces of advice would you give them how how you how can we motivate this cohort yeah. of STs who are going to feel very sort of down with everything so i always uh, tell myself if x passed i could pass mm. we're all clever to be honest and I, unfortunately there is a very bad impression about img mm. uh, doctors they said I, somebody told me the rate of passing of male overseas uh, long hospital uh, experience is very low. Mm. I said, no, why? If we have experience, we could use it in the practice. Why? Yeah. So I tell them, okay, you trust yourself and don't record every day. Yeah. Honestly, my numbers, you may be surprised if I told you, my cases 18 to 19 only, the total cases wow. over, over a short period of time between first week of February until the submission, 18, 19 cases. Wow. So I don't uh, record every day only. Um, I use Thursday afternoon the clinic. Mm. So my supervisor, he, he was very nice because he told me, okay, we use that session to record your cases. So I usually okay. between six and eight. I'm very relaxed. I take 20 minutes, consultation. I look at the notes. So I don't bother myself. I don't stress myself every day. Just one, one, one session a week. Yeah. And I use the strategy from the course, like give the patient golden first golden minute. Yeah. Then I use my golden minute. I say my golden minute. Explore, address the eyes. Yeah. Open the eyes. It's very important. Make the consultation very easy. Yeah. But don't forget to readdress it at the end. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. No point in asking it if you're not going to use it and readdress it. And oh. active listening. Because yeah. sometimes the patient tell you, while the, during the first minute they said, I like to be referred. Yeah. So don't ask again. Exactly. Because otherwise that give a bad... A, Take a mark from you if you ask again. Yeah. And yeah. again, from the course, we learn signpost, always signpost. Yeah. Don't ask very sensitive. I would like to ask you a sensitive question. No, just ask. I would like to ask you a few questions about your sexual health. Yeah. Even the red flags. I need to ask you a few questions, yes or no question. Yeah. I don't need to miss any yeah. significant thing. So always signpost. Make it easy. And the, the listener, the examiner will impress with this. Yeah. Honestly, you know, I have one of consultation. I think I watch it 10 times myself. I enjoy it. I was yeah. sitting in front of my consultation. I oh. love it. <laughs> I love it. I was, yeah, believe me, it, it's like a movie. Is that, is that correct? Yeah. It looks like a movie. When you enjoy yeah. it, definitely the other person enjoy that consultation. I agree. I and again, readdress the eyes. Yeah. Readdress the eyes and be nice. Interpersonal skills start from zero second until 12 minutes. It's not during, yeah. no, always, interpersonal skills always there. Yeah. And be Include, happy yeah. with the patient, smile with the patient. Yeah. They are a human. They like somebody to smile with them. Yeah. And makes oh. everything easy. I'm so happy for you. I can just, I can feel the positive energy. I can feel the happy vibes. I can see it on your face. I can see it in your eyes. Oh, yeah. Um, this is what Confucius nice. says is if you, uh, you smile with your eyes, you smile with your heart, and you're definitely doing both. Ahmed, it's been an absolute pleasure. I wish you the best Thanks, of luck going forwards. 
Um, now you can truly enjoy GP and the social side to it. Now you've got the RCA out of the way. Yeah, um, I feel like a GB yeah. <laughs> until prove otherwise. Yeah. By, by submission of portfolio and the CCT. Yeah, yeah, we'll get those. We'll get those done. Um, okay. Best of luck and thank you so much thank for coming on. Thanks again. Okay. Thanks. Take care. Thanks. Sir. Take care. So I hope you enjoyed that interview with Ahmed. There's always hope. There's always a strategy before submission. Do consider joining us on Mentor RCA Flagship. Our courses are on the website. Um, do click the link down below if you're interested and don't feel scared to reach out. All right, take care, big love.